Hevenu shalom alechem. In the native language of my Lord and Savior Yahshua HaMashiach, the one in English we call Jesus Christ. The world sleeps just like sheep, peaceful in a pillow padded with lies. I'm praying daily, but the world's got even intellectual thinkers mesmerized. My people starve for revival, but in God's words they stray away instead of seek. In about four seconds, by the grace of God, I will begin to teach. You are now watching The Conservative Racer. Remember, the race is not over until Christ returns. Psalm 19.1 The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament showeth his handiwork. Simply put, the greatness and majesty of God is displayed all around you. And when you look to the sky, which is the firmament, where God said he put the sun, the moon, and the stars, we bear witness to his majesty and his glorious creation. Let's entitle this, Yahweh Todorabah, God thank you so much. Thank you Yahweh, the master of my judgment day, the Alpha and the Omega, whose signature is upon history of every era. You're the fabric of my reality, the very substance of all existence. Your glory traverses all time, all space, regardless the distance. Comprehension of your majesty transcends our imagination. Even these words I use to describe you are as useless as silence compared to your all-due glorification. Father, you gave boundary to the sea. Your mere mention of light and brightness was brought to be. You sat the sun and the stars in a garment of heaven. Their light declares truth and the glory of your presence. Singular body of water once lonely, you command it divided into a plural. While we acknowledge the water below, we ignore the one above, forsaking the full importance of Genesis 1-6 and your intended moral. Praise to you, Heavenly Father, you're the sum totality of all creation and beyond my explanation. And forever I will worship and give you my entire adoration. Throughout history, and even now, we find people glorifying different aspects of God's creation, like sun worship, earth worship. They say things like Father Time and Mother Nature. These things are not to be worshiped. God is a jealous God, and he deserves all the glory. God's Word versus the World. Please continue to join me in this series of poems that I dedicate to my Lord and Savior Yahshua HaMashiach, the man called Jesus Christ. People, time is wasting, get familiar. I spoke to my father this morning. Being reminded of his salvation in Christ, I fell to my knees worshiping. For every sin I ever made, my Christ died on the cross for me, then rose again, leaving behind a tomb empty.